Next news out of Sydney, Australia. Sydney Sikh community treats exhausted firefighters to a home-cooked meal. Um, so there was an emergency rated fire going off um, in Sydney and volunteer firefighters were out there um, working very hard, putting it out. Once they got that done, the Sikh temple um, community people from that attended the temple dropped by with food, uh, water, different curries, juice and soft drinks to thank the firefighters for everything they did. Putting out the fire. Okay, what do you guys think about this? I think that um, that it's great that people are helping their communities. I just don't understand why it's news just because they're Sikh. Right. What do you I mean, think about Shubha? I'm going to have my answer. Yeah, I, I mean, like Alex said, I think it's great they're helping out the community, but I don't understand why this is news also. Like, uh, there are like many news, like Sikh people doing this and that, like good stuff, wholesome stuff. But why does it have to be a news every time they do something? I think it, this is, okay, I know, I, I have a um, hypothesis for why this is news. I think a lot of people that want to be anti some religions they want to also have some religions they're like oh look these religions can that be bad i'm not against our religions i'm only against these religions so that's why sikhs are always used as like role models for how religion could be a good thing but this is a very dangerous thing to do um and I i'll read the uh, top comment um and i'll tell you why i think this is so dangerous to be like oh sikhs are great because of this right so uh, krishna is saying only two religions which i respect for are Sikhism, Sikhism and Buddhism. One was born out of uh, pursuit of knowledge and other of protecting their brothers and sisters and their heritage. I respect no religion and I, and I don't respect uh, Sikhism either, okay? No matter how many good Sikhs they are, these are good people. It has nothing to do with the religion. Uh, these are just good people, right? People are capable of being uh, good to each other without religion. And when, good, when being good is used as a way to spread religion, that actually, it, to me, that is propaganda and that's dangerous. Because at the end of the day, the whole idea of religion is to figure out what's true and what's not based on a source that is faulty. And that is actually more dangerous when, than for, uh, when you see religions, when you, when you share news about religions being a source of harm. Because, see... When it comes to figuring out how to live and what to do and what's right and what's not and what's science and what's not and what's fact and what's nonsense, um, the methodology matters more than the conclusion, okay? There are the right methods and then the wrong methods. The right methods don't always get you the right answer. They just more often give you the right answer. The wrong methods don't always give you the wrong answer. The wrong methods sometimes give you accidentally the right answer. But those times that the wrong methods give you the right answer, those unique examples are used to sell the wrong methodology, the methodology that often gives you the wrong answer, right? So when you come up with examples with religion, faith, superstition, is giving you something good, that is absolutely dangerous because now you're going to use those unique examples to sell a very, very flawed method. Something, faith in general, religion in general is a very dangerous thing. And these kind of examples that are used as propaganda to sell, to make, seem, to make it seem like religion as a whole might not be that bad of a thing. And to me, that is very dangerous. And when you see like Sikhs being nice to people and you're like, well, that's, well, see, Sikh, Sikhism can have not that bad, unlike those other religions. Well, guess what? Muslims have a lot of charities. Are you going to be na are, are you going now going to be this charitable to Islam as well? They, I would bet you that they have even more charities. Do you think Muslims don't go out there to feed people? Do you think Christians don't have, you know, charities that they take care of homeless people? Do you think Christians don't have missionary groups that go take care of people that have been hurt by earthquakes and stuff like that? Do you think they have? They don't have that? They have that a lot more, right? The reason why that doesn't give coverage, because they also have more resources, right? The reason why that doesn't get coverage is because people want to use Sikhs as a way to be like, look, we have 
better people than Christians and Muslims because oh Abrahamic religion bad but hey Eastern B Buddhism Sikhism oh this we could have religions that is good but what if you want to be consistent then if you want to endorse Sikhism when Sikhs when Sikhs are being charitable then you have to endorse Islam and Christianity when they are being charitable because they do do that but guess what when Muslims are being charitable when Muslims are being nice I don't give credit to Islam I give credit to those individuals. When Christians are being charitable, when Christians are being kind to each other, to other people, I don't give credit to Christianity. I give credit to those individuals, and I'll do the same thing with Sikhism. Um, you know, those are these are just nice people, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these people are so nice that even if they didn't have Sikhism, they would have still been nice to their fellow human beings. And if they weren't going to be nice to their fellow human beings, unless it was ordered from from their religion, then technically they're not good human beings technically they're just following orders right i'm hoping that these are people that would have still been nice to their fellow human beings without their religion and if that's the case then their religion does not deserve any credit and buddhism this top comment was saying oh buddhism also i respect it buddhism deserves absolutely zero credit for anything okay buddhism is also superstitious it's nonsense and it's still you know anything that still spreads uh, superstition and uh, unscientific uh, has unscientific claims should be called out and uh, and should be should be end should die out uh, and that includes Sikhism and Buddhism I will be against Sikhism and Buddhism no matter how peaceful and nice they claim to be uh, what do you guys think about that I agree and J um, sorry GV from our chat says if covering news like this helps the reduction of hate crimes against Sikhs isn't it a good thing I don't think that news articles like this is um, reducing the hate crimes against Sikhs I think that if somebody truly hates another person which I, I honestly don't think that a lot of people do hate Sikhs I think that they confuse their uh, dress as something else um, that they hate but I think that this um, articles like this, if someone truly hated Sikhs and truly wanted to go out and commit a hate crime against them, not just hate them, but actually take it to a physical force, reading this article isn't going to to stop them from doing that. Um, I agree with Armin that this is this is more propaganda. These are puff pieces that uh, do make people say, "Wow, maybe maybe this is a good religion. These are these are good people, and and these are good people." Mm. But they're not good people because of their religion. Exactly. But I, I might slightly disagree with you, Ali, uh, because I do think that, I mean, it's okay to use stories like this if the intention is to make us be tolerant of people, but not if it's spread to make us tolerant of their religion, right? So, for well, example, well, I think that there's a huge difference between tolerance mm. and people who are already at a hate crime stage. Right. So, for example, if Muslims are going out there and they're genuinely doing something good, like they're like cleaning parks or being charitable, right? I might use that story as a way to be like, look, Muslims are not evil, right? Muslims are not evil. Muslims could be good people, right? But I would not give credit to Islam for it. Right. I would just say being a Muslim doesn't make you evil, but I wouldn't say being Muslim makes you a good person. It doesn't do either one of those things. Right. Being a Muslim makes you wrong. <laughs> right. Does it? It makes you wrong. It doesn't make you evil. Well, not necessarily. Sometimes it does. Right. Um, well, and be, but being Muslim doesn't make you if you're being charitable if it's because you're a Muslim then you're not really being a good person but if you're charitable if you're kind because you're a good person then your religion doesn't deserve any credit right and I might use a story of a good Muslim to just reduce hate crimes on Muslims just to introduce people that hate Muslims that like look there are good Muslims out there right stop being so hateful right Right, but we'd have to see if that works because I think a lot of intolerant people that would work on, and that's fine. But I'm talking about people who are actually going out to commit hate crimes. Um, it, it's past this. What does cure people who are already filled with so much hate towards a group of people that they want to bash them or, you know, kill them or whatever it may be, um, is to put them in situations where they have to work with them in their communities or speak with them at their jobs or 
get these hate crimed people out of their homes, out of their basements, um, and out into the community where they have to actually interact with others. I think that is the way to reduce hate crimes. If we're talking about reducing intolerance or something like that, sure, okay. Right. But people who are already at the stage where they hate so much, these stories are just going to be ignored. Right, but, just most people are not, but most people are not there yet. Most people are way before that. And JV is well, agreeing. Well, that's fine. The question was if this does help reduce hate crimes. So I'm saying I don't think that these will help reduce hate crimes. But the reason why I do think is, and JV is agreeing with you. JV is saying, yeah, this is never going to convince the rabbit bigots. But the reason why I disagree with both of you is because the reason why I might disagree with reduce hate crimes is because a lot of people before they got to that stage, they were at their lower stage, much lower stage before they got there. Now and that's it, a good point. And it might just stop them from, yeah, maybe when they get there, it's too late for them, but it might stop some people from getting to th that far, right? Maybe. All right. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know. Uh, let us know in the comment section. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.